I'd say we're about 50 meters from where all those live dogs are being sold. And just down here, um, you've got this. I'm just watching a bunch of people roasting their dogs. Oh my God. The annual dog meat festival upsets practically everyone who isn't taking part in it. Animal rights activists say the dog meat trade is cruel, unhygienic and poorly regulated, with stolen pets and strays making their way to the dinner table. Despite all this and spurred on by fierce backlash from across China, some Yulin locals say this year they're even more set on plowing down man's best friend by the cageful. Yulin is a town of six million, not far from China's southern border of Vietnam. We arrived the day before summer solstice and everyone was getting ready to celebrate by killing some dogs. So we're just heading down to Dong Ko Shi Chong, which is one of the main meat markets here in Yulin. Um, it's where a lot of people obviously buy their meat, so I'm hoping that there'll be guys buying dogs in preparation for the festival. Oh my god. The smell is just... I don't know, because it's, it's meaty, it's like horribly, horribly meaty, and it's kind of mixed with that familiar doggy smell, and it just really turns your stomach. But, you know, I don't hang out in meat markets that often, and a lot of Chinese meat markets, to be fair, are pretty uh, explicit. So, maybe this is normal, maybe my stomach would be turned anyway, even if it even if I didn't see so many dead dogs. Chicago so when I just asked the guy delivering the dogs where they came from, he said they're from Guizhou outside of the province. Um, but no one seems to be able to give me an exact answer for where these dogs are from. Everything must go into whatever they're cooking. There's, they're just kind of blindly chopping. I'm really scared to open my mouth because I think that there's kind of like dog meat going inside it. It seems like people are very much aware of the bad name that they're getting for eating dog, but they're very defensive and uh, quite hostile towards us. On the other hand, they say that it's their right to eat dog because living conditions have got better in China. They're able to eat dog more um, and they're not forcing anyone else to eat them. The butchery is bleak enough, but it's the downtown market where people are buying the freshest locally sourced produce that really messes with your head. So 
So these actually, to be fair, look more like the kind of dogs I was expecting to be bred for eating. Apart from that guy over there who looks distinctly like my Bichon Freeze. I thought I was talking to a pet and then she said, yeah, if someone wants to buy him, I'll sell him for food. It's a business. They want to sell the pets whether they're as pets or whether they're as meat. They just want to sell them. Shandai is an activist spearheading the anti-dog festival movement. I caught her wandering around the market, looking teary. Um, so what are you doing here today? Oh, today I'm checking the market, checking the data about the dog cat meat trade. According to our investigation, dog and cats was killed in the dog meat festival. Uh, it's over the 50,000 pieces. Wow. Yeah, very huge. Over 50,000. So that, but that's dogs and cats. Yeah, including some cats. Yeah, about cats, about 10,000 pieces. So about 40,000 dogs killed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. So do you think the festival is bigger than it was last year? Uh, I think I don't think uh, it's bigger that, like, than last year. I think the uh, unit um, government have to do something and it work. We also can find some. It was controlled step by step. Mm -hmm. but however, in this is dog trade market, uh, I just wonder because it's uh, not the legal trade. This volume is not so not so small. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I found some dog uh, was old or sick, and uh, you may uh, get get some seeds, so I think um, you will get the more strict control, yeah. Can you just explain to us, you said they're illegal, can you explain that? The trading here is illegal because uh, you you, uh, you don't think to any supervision here. There's no evidence showing that this is belonging to the trader. Do you have any demonstrations planned for anything for today? I think uh, maybe later we'll do it, yeah. We're just on our way over to the city government. Um, we've heard that there are animal rights protesters demonstrating over there. Um, I have to say, up till now, their attempts have been a little bit shambolic, so not quite sure what to expect. Facing a PR nightmare this year, the city government has retracted its support of the festival, claiming the holiday barely even exists. And they clearly don't want any fuss being made because before the protest even started, the square was full of thugs who might well have been hired to disrupt the event. In China, unsanctioned protests are still illegal and animal rights activists are risking arrest simply for demonstrating. So it's a very nervous atmosphere at the moment. With no government officials showing up and little progress in the heated shouting match, the protest is dissolved. Ultimately, I wanted to see if a dog meat festival is really as heartbreaking as it sounds. We've been invited to celebrate the festival with a local family, who were probably a little weirded out that their traditional party had drawn such deep condemnation from across China and abroad. Uh, so we've come to a village just outside of Yulin. It feels very relaxed compared to the city. I feel like I've just stepped back in time a bit. 
This guy here belongs to the neighbours. They brought it along just in case there wasn't enough meat to feed the hundred guests. This is your You want to eat it? The dog's been in this guy's family for the last five or six years, so he doesn't want it to die because he quite likes the dog. But when I asked him if he was going to eat dog today, he was like, yeah. <laughs> I'm seeing four dead dogs inside boxes. Oh, sorry. Oh, it's really hard because there's a lot of family watching, so I don't want to look too rude. But um, basically, they're cleaning the head, they're cutting the head open, and uh, we're taking the meat out of the like cheeks of the dog head. It's quite clear that nothing is going to waste here, which I guess is a good thing. I mean, if you're going to kill a dog, you may as well eat the entirety of it. And it definitely, definitely seems like that's happening. Oh my God, they're even saving the tongue. Uh, so we've got three different types of dog, dog <laughs> coming along. Uh, one of them is being deep fried. Uh, this one is being stewed. And we can go and take a look at this one. Ni hao. So we're going to add a bit of ginger. So these are the spices that they use. That's uh, dog spice. So specifically designed for cooking dog meat. So inside we've got like dry tangerine peel. We've got some bay leaf, um, a bit of anise. Uh, and a bit of cloves, so, oh, and some uh, spice as well. So, yeah, all sorts of flavours go in there, quite strong flavours actually. Um, they said that's partly to disguise the smell of like a slightly fishy fragrance that comes out of it, so... For some reason I'm not so freaked out anymore. I feel like, okay, the dogs are dead, it's just piles and piles of meat which I can handle. The vibe was actually nicer than you'd imagine. Everyone was getting pissed on lychee liquor and crates of beer. Well, thankfully, the neighbor's dog is spared from going in the pot. It looks like maybe a quarter of a dog. I'm just psyching myself up. I've got every single person's eyes looking at me here. Um, I, I feel like I'd be incredibly rude if I refused. And, uh, what the hell, when in Rome? Huh? You sure some more? Huh? Sang Xia? Sang Xia, Vida? Huh? Could you be? Vida, could you be? This is the food. I'm so bad. I'm so bad. I'm so bad. You don't want to eat this? Thank you. Thank you. Sang Xia, really? Yeah. 这是哪个胃吗？这个不是胃，这个是肠。哦、oh, okay. ，<笑>很好吃，最好吃是这个。OK， one at a time <笑>。好吃哦，真的。嗯，呀，不要，真的不要。OK， oh my god， oh, fuck it。还可以吧？其实不错。是啊，没什么呢，没你们想象那么恐怖，是不是？啊、oh, oh, ，看见。A little bit like uh, beef or lamb, that kind of texture. Although I have to say, it's, it's kind of that distinct smell that is kind of lurking in my mouth still. Alarm bells are going off in my head saying, I just ate that dog, I just ate that dog, I just ate that dog. 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 
，是通联系的。然后牛不是牛有通联系的吗？有有一些不通啊，有一些通联系，有一些是是菜，这种就是菜狗。然后我们在印度嘛，它牛是什么？我知道，你们吃牛，你英国吃牛，他印度人全部反对你们英国人，他你怎么可以呢？是不是一样的一个道理啊？我一个公主，是我们本地的一个，就是一个，就是地方的风俗，就是，就是我们喜欢吃狗肉，团团结，管他什么事情，然后就是是不是？那是我们的自由嘛。Obviously, squeamishness aside, eating dog isn't really that different from eating any other animal with four legs and two eyes. But frankly, the idea of slaughtering dogs that spent their last days in cages still bums me out. Which is why I'm happy that there are some people out here who'll do anything to save them. The next morning, we caught up with an activist who's just saved a whole bunch of them. She's kind of the Oscar Schindler of the dog trade. You want to buy this dog? How to kill him? Buy it just for nine thousand. No money. 九万多，你怎么赚九万？九万块？有爱心人的捐助，有我儿子的捐助。我的家很富有，但是现在我没有家，我房子都卖了。哪怕比如说我救三百只，我救三只，我也不枉此行，我也不遗憾。我最起码我没到没玉林的狗肉节，我没白来。我我凭我的能力，我去救。中国的老太太裹脚，对吧？过去裹脚、盘头都都去了，为什么这种血腥的、血腥的这个这节日就去不了 ？Oh my God! Do you recognize that dog? That was the dog that、uh, I saw yesterday that was supposed to go for the chop. 我认识他，好可爱。那今天干净了吧？昨天拿雨水冲了，然后又给擦的，那今天就比昨天漂亮。他知道，有人救了他。It's come as no surprise that the dogs sold in Yulin are often kept in cramped conditions and treated no better than any other animal raised for meat. I really don't think I'll be eating dog again, but it's easy to see why the people who celebrate the festival don't want to give up their tradition. The thing is, though, dogs are dogs. They're lassy and they're snowy, and they're both lady and the tramp. Which is why, frustratingly for the dog traders, I really can't see the planet ever letting this festival pass without an outrage.